Okay, cool. So guys, I'm here with Richard Shaw. He's a final piece of the casting puzzle for Abe. Now, Rich has done a lot of things with like some of the best actors in Hollywood. He did Public Enemies with Johnny Depp. He's uh, currently shooting what he's shooting at the moment. Vinyl. Vinyl. HBO. Yep. And that's HBO. And who's, who's the exec producer of that? It's no less than Martin Scorsese and Mick Jagger. Martin so, Scorsese and Mick Jagger. It is ridiculous. So it might be all right. Might have some good music in it. <laughs> yeah. Like this. Like it's, this. Uh, it's actually very similar to this, 1973. Very similar. Like the disco. So, uh, as you can see, guys, we are incredibly lucky to have Richard on board. Richard read the script and um, just decided that he wanted to do it. Now, Richard's got a hell of a lot of experience, as we've just discussed in this game. And it's very, very rare to get someone of Richard's calibre and experience to do short films. It's just un unheard of. So. What made you? What made you want to do this this particular part? Well, it's a cliche to answer, mate. But uh, the script, obviously, because there's nothing else at this point. Yeah. For an actor, you read the, the words on the page, and goes any good. Yeah. And uh, well, that and the fact that you're from the north of England. That's it. That that's, always helps. That's we stick together. Massive key. Yeah. Massive yeah. key. Because I wouldn't. I don't work with any other kind of people. That's it. <laughs> And where are you from again? I'm what? from South Shields. And I'm from the borough, the mighty borough. It's from the dirty smoke. So, so uh, I'm, a, yeah, I'm a borough fan of yeah, Sunderland, Sunderland. Sunderland. So we've got that rivalry. We'll bring that to set every day. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, which may play in. <laughs> Not that we want to discuss the plot or the characters. But That's uh, it, yeah, yeah. I want to keep that. If tension is needed, we'll find it. We'll find it, yeah. We've just got to talk about the football team. <laughs> So yeah, um, and in this town, as you well know, there's yeah. millions of people wanting to do what we do. Like they, they, yeah. every every other person you meet is an actor, which is a great thing. Including but the man in there that we just including the man. Yeah. 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 So what what does it take? Like, what separates like the masses? How do you stand out in a crowd? Like every single person, every other person in LA is an actor. So what? How do you in a, a overcrowded industry how do you get the work and make sure that you, you you rise above the rest well i think first and foremost you relax yeah i think there's a lot of people here that don't relax and they're too tense about it yeah. offset right. on the days off yeah. and i think it's key to know that the work is the work and it is just that yeah do you know what i mean it's yeah me, it is, me, it's me. just work it's just words, yeah. it's a character, it's a story, tell the story. You can put you can put all your work waking like hours into thinking about how you're gonna do the story. Yeah. But you know it's just a form of work, a form of employment. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And you can love it, we all do. Yeah. That's why we do it, but switch off as well. Otherwise there's nothing of you to bring to the next one. Exactly. You know what I mean? If it's so basically what we're saying is if it's all consuming how can you play characters when you have no life? You need to have a life outside of your work yeah. in order to bring that humanity to the work, which is yeah. why a lot of British actors, and you'll hear this time and time again, why a lot of British actors and Australian actors get cast a lot because they have lives. It's not all about the trouble. It's, yeah, yeah, they travel, they have lives, you know, and they, they bring that humanity to the work. And we were talking last night, weren't we, mate, about how important it is to to be creating. Like you're you're a, a constantly in work actor. You're working all the time, getting employed to work on other people's creations. But I know this fine well, as I've done for it. You you were creating yourself. So talk talk a bit about yeah. that, how important it is. Well, it's 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 vitally important. That the longer you be in the industry and in the game, you you realise that. In between jobs, because we've all got those times, yeah. that you you're sitting around waiting for the man in the suit yeah. to tell you, okay, you're good to go. It's your turn again. Let's go. And then you start to say, well, I've got a suit in the closet. I can put that on. I can be that man. Yeah. And you, I know how a set works. I write words all the time. I know how to put pen to paper. Yeah. I know where a camera goes. And you start to say, well, I could create something of my own. Which is precisely what you're doing here. Yeah. That's exactly why I want to. Be on board and support you, and yeah. and, and get this done, and get it done well. Okay? Yeah, you know? not just get it done. Yeah. But you do. You start to realise, well, I can create. I've got just as much right as anyone else. Yeah. To create, like we, we all have these illusions of 
especially for people like us from another country, yeah. where you come to America, big land of opportunity, and it yeah. is, and it's great. And you come to Hollywood, and spe specifically where we are right now, and you think, oh, it's everyone there, it's, you know, they're, they're up here. Yeah. And then you do a couple of jobs, and you go, not really. Oh, yeah. they're just the same as us. Exactly. We're all the same. In fact, yeah, you could definitely hold me on. And we all can. Yeah. So why then can't I write the next one? Exactly. And it'd be really good. And that's it. And that that's the future, guys. There's a lot of people, and I've met so many people who who constantly say to me, "Oh, you're so lucky." I'm showing you right now, guys. And Rich has just like illustrated and re reiterated my point that it's. It's a little bit of luck and it's a lot of, it, lot of hard work. He's creating, even though he's constantly in work, working on big shows like the Scorsese show for HBO, did Public Enemies, he's still writing and creating his own work. Definitely. You have to be doing that, you have to be prolific. And, and that's, you were talking last night about that is the future, you know, the, the next generation have to be creators of their own work, masters of their own universe. So you've got to keep busy, yeah. you've got to busy yourself. And I think the more departments in our industry that you can, that you can approach, you yeah. know, if you can have a finger in all pies, like you need to understand what a grip does. You need yeah. to understand, you know, you might not want to be in hair and makeup. Yeah. But if you can understand how vital their job is and how they're doing it, they're yeah. rough version of it. Yeah. Everything else seems all the jigsaw pieces fall into place a bit yeah. easier. And you start to see the bigger picture. So when you're writing, you go, oh yeah, that's yeah. that and that's that. You know what I mean? That makes sense. So you can't be ignorant. If you're an actor, you can't just be an actor. It doesn't work that way, not anymore. You need to know at least a little about what every other department does and how important they are to the game. But just create. Just, just create. the most important thing. Be just a create. Be a master, like take yeah. take it into your own hands, you gotta do that. That's exactly what we're doing here. So like there's a lot of young young kids in the game, people who are like stuck in limbo. So knowing what you know now with all your experience, you were giving eighteen year old Rich who's just starting out in the game yeah. advice on what he needs to do to to fast forward his career yep. 10 years, yep. what, what would you Key say? Key thing, the number one thing, and I have said this to young actors starting out this week, is that I was never aware that I'd be reliant on other people. I always thought, oh, it's, it's you're self-employed, yeah. if I'm good enough, I'll get it. No, you're very reliant on other people pulling their finger out. Yeah. And that's that plays into why you've got to be your own master. Yeah. You've got to create your own stuff. That, you really do. That's it. You've got to build a great team. This is why I've got Rich on board and Barry Sloan and Patrick. I'm creating a team and we we rely on each other to make it awesome. Yep. So up the borough, Rich. Oh, we're the lads. <laughs> Look forward nice to it. Nice one, yeah, let's do this. Let's do it.